Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on the Beginner Banjo series. We are in lesson number three. Today we're going to be learning some rolls. Also guys, if you are enjoying the series and you want to watch the whole playlist, I've got a whole playlist for the Beginner Banjo series. If you're interested in watching the whole series, I'll put a link right up here. You can click on it. It should have all the videos in the series and you can watch it from the beginning and learn how to play banjo. All right guys, so let's get into it. The forward roll. The forward roll is pretty simple. Uh, all it is is you're starting with your thumb and you just go with your index and then your middle in that order. So you're picking with your thumb, index, and then middle finger, okay? So what you'll do is on the fifth string, you'll pluck your thumb. On the second string, you'll pluck your index finger. And on the first string, you'll pluck your middle finger. And then you'll do it all over again. That's a forward roll. You can do that anywhere on the anywhere on the strings. You can start at the third string and go three, two, one. Thumb, index, middle. So you can go three, two, one, or you can go four, two, one, five, two, one. You can pretty much do this roll anywhere up and down the strings wherever you want to that's a forward roll and it mainly just involves going from your thumb to your index to your middle finger um, that's what it involves and you can practice and kind of uh, alternate between strings and all that good stuff if you want to but i recommend at the very first just pick an a string and we'll say your fifth string and just do that forward roll five two Because you're getting used to planting your finger, you're getting used to all these brand new things. And so let's keep it as simple as we can right now and just do five, two, one, five, two, one. And just keep practicing that until it becomes. Now, if I was going to put the forward roll into a measure of music, this is what it looked like, this first forward roll. And, um, I recommend trying to learn this this way because I'm going to put some chords to it uh, next week and we're going to learn a little a small little ditty <laughs> with changing chords and doing that. So anyways, try to learn these two um, these two rolls this way. I'll go over the forward reverse roll in just a minute. But on the forward roll, if I'm putting it in music form, you'll start at the third string with your thumb. You'll go to the second string with your index and the first string with your uh, middle finger. Then you'll come back to the fifth string with your thumb. And then you'll go to the second string with your index, the first string with your middle. Then you'll come back to the third string with your thumb and the first string with your middle. So three, two, one, five, two, one, three, one. And it's kind of odd when you have to roll this over to repeat it um, because it's almost like an alternating thumb. saying but in music form that's the way it works out and I know I'm making it look a lot easier than what it's going to be as you're trying it but just understand that this is where everybody starts at and if you get frustrated it's perfectly okay but it's all right everybody goes through it and you'll get through it all right let's go to the forward reverse row uh, which starts off the fifth string with your thumb second string with your index first string with your middle finger fifth string with your thumb and then you go back to the first string with your middle, second string with your index, third string with your thumb, and then the first string with your middle. So it's like you're going through the strings and then you're turning around and coming back through the strings. Okay. Five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Really practice these two before you move on to the next video because in the next video I will have um, putting notes, uh, putting chords to this, and we're going to learn a little kind of chord changing exercise with this. So, anyways, um, really work on these two. All right, now let's work on the uh, a backup technique for you guys. Um, this is a pretty simple backup technique. What you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and your middle finger. You're going to put your thumb on the fifth string, 
and your middle finger on the first string and you're just gonna pinch those two strings together at the same time. That's called a pinch. Okay? And just kinda get, get the feel of that. And count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's get used to that. Then what you'll do is you're gonna take your thumb and once you pinch, then you're going to take your thumb and you're going to hit the fourth string. And I recommend while you're doing this is to count this out in your head because that'll help you with your timing right now. One and two and three and four and... Now what we're going to do is that exact same thing. We're going to do the pinch and the thumb on the fourth. Okay, pinch. But this time we're going to go thumb on the third. Pinch, thumb on the fourth, pinch, thumb on the third, pinch, thumb on the fourth, pinch, thumb on the third. Okay, and count it out. One, and two, and three, and four. And you want to keep that in time as much as you can. It'll help if you count it out in your head as you're doing that. That's an alternating pinch back up is what I call it, but it's just uh, later on we can put chords and stuff to it to be able to play back up to songs. But for right now, it's just kind of getting you in that groove of, of learning that. Now, another backup technique that uh, you'll probably want to learn, um, I call it the double pluck backup technique. I don't know what they really call it, but that's what I call it. <laughs> but what you're going to do is you're going to take your index finger and your middle finger, and you're going to put it on the index on the second string your middle finger on the first string and you're going to do just like the pinch except you're doing it on these two strings so you just pull them off at the same time you pluck them at the same time okay you just get used to doing that now with like with the alternating um with the pinch technique just like it we're going to go to the fourth string with our thumb in between each one of the plucks with our fingers Same deal, count them off. Make sure your timing is right as you're doing it. One and two and three and four. And the same with all, uh, all I mean, pinch, we got an alternating double pluck back up. So you're gonna pluck, and then you're gonna hit the fourth string, pluck, third string with your thumb. Pluck, fourth string with your thumb, pluck, third string with your thumb. Okay? So, These are really good techniques for you, uh, and especially if you want to go to a jam session and you don't want to get like right in the middle of the mix and or you're not uh, to the level yet to be able to play solos and, and do some of that things with them. You can kind of sit, you know, back behind the main circle and listen to the music. Uh, if you know what uh, uh, what chords they're playing in the song, you can play back up to that with these techniques. <laughs> just chord of the notes well that'll help you changing chords and you're part of the jam session you're around the people it's just a really fun thing to do and this is a good thing to learn that you can do that with all right that's the role lesson for today guys i know there's more roles don't be sending me hate uh, hate comments about oh there's more roles than that i know there's more roles we're going to learn them down the road a little ways we got others i got songs that we're going to learn later on down the road uh that involve the other role techniques and at that time i will uh, introduce you to those roles but the only reason i'm not doing it now is because i don't want to overload you with too many things at once because that's how you get bogged down because you're thinking i need to be trying this i need to be trying that i need to be trying that. you need to be working on these things for what we're getting ready to go on to next later on down the road i promise you we'll get into all uh the alternating thumb roll and all the you know all the other stuff but it'll, it'll come down the road I just want you to know. All right, guys, thank you all so much for pushing that play button. I hope this video has helped you out tremendously. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.